So you just got yourself a TicWatch Pro 3 and you were wondering if you could make it faster by disabling all the bloatware that Mobway includes by default. Now they don't allow from the watch itself to actually disable it. So this video will help you how to do it using ADB, which is called Android Debug Bridge. So to do this, you would need a PC running Windows 10 and here are the steps you need to do on the watch first. So on the watch, you need to go to settings, system, about, and tap the build number multiple times to unlock developer options. Once you get the developer options unlocked, go to settings, developer options, click on enable ADB debugging, just below that there should be an option to enable debug over Wi-Fi. Wait for three seconds and you'll see an IP address. Just take note of that. Now on the PC side of things, you need to make sure your PC is on the same Wi-Fi as the watch, which is most likely the scenario. And then you need to install minimal fastboot and ADB. I'll leave a link down below, you can download it. It's only like five megabytes or something. While installing, you can create a shortcut on desktop and just launch it. Once you have the command prompt screen going, now you need to remember that IP address that you took note of earlier from the watch. For me, it's 192.168.0.179. Roughly, it's in 192xxx range. So just find it out from the watch and enter adb space connect space the IP address and that will connect the watch to your PC. Now it's fairly simple. I've listed all the commands down below but so the first command you need to enter is adb space shell space pm space disable dash user dash dash user space zero space com.mobboy.where.system.aw now all you need to do is keep the first part of the command up till user zero the same and then keep changing the rest of it. So for the second command, you need to replace the com.mobboy.where.system.ew with com.mobboy.where.bloodoxygen, com.mobboy.where.privacy.aw, etc, etc. Do it for all. All of these apps are safe to do. And this is what my watch looks like after doing all of them. It's completely clean. The original Wear OS launcher is up there. It runs butter smooth and all the system updates still do keep coming. And I have been using it for about two months now, just like this, getting all the system updates with the HMR2, etc. as well. So that's it for this video. Give it a thumbs up if it helped you. Share with your friend who has a TicWatch Pro 3 GPS. Subscribe and ding the bell, all that jazz. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.